Well, hello. How do you say that thing, that, the far rod thing? Like, you know, like what? Far rod, welcome in. Far rod yombe. Far rod yombe. <clears throat> far rod yombe. And welcome to our apartment. Including the cat. So today we thought we'd show you around our apartment in Sarajevo. And um, we're paying £300 a month for both of us to live here. And that includes bills, so Wi-Fi, water, what other bills? Gas, electric, it's all included. It's on Airbnb. So this is what you can get for £300. Yeah. On... We're a disclaimer, we don't really like like the company Airbnb necessarily because I think they're very like landlord-centric and they're also... It also says Puma. Well, fuck Puma. Fuck Puma. But we still use them because they... It's a really good way to find like short-term rentals for decent prices. Like we're paying, I said, three hundred pounds, so one hundred and fifty pound each, and it's a two-bedroom apartment with amazing views. So let me show you. <laughs> so oh yeah, this is Tom Ash's room. Yeah, this is my very messy room. This could also be a a sitting room, but mm -hmm. we use it as separate rooms because. We need our space. It's snowing like hell. And the view is quite nice. Yeah, so when it's not snowing, you can see the city and the mountains behind. When we got here, it was night and we were like driving. We were driving up the mountain and um, there were like all these beautiful lights and I was like, oh, it's going to be a really nice view in the morning. And then in the morning, I looked out, it was Christmas Day and um, and, there was, and it was really beautiful and I was like, okay, this is a really beautiful place. The apartment itself isn't, it's definitely not the nicest apartment we've ever lived in, but because of the views and because of the access to the mountains, it's it just, it makes it so much worth it. Like I always said, rather live in a shit hole basically with a nice view than live in a beautiful apartment with a horrible view because that's that's just me let's add that this is not a shit hole at all yeah, it's kind of damn that's i think that's for me that's like the number one problem i mean we don't have control over the heating it's on right now but they decide when it goes on which is kind of weird i mean considering how many people's houses were bombed here it's not a shit hole that's true, yeah. Sorry, that's that was insensitive. It's a good point. Uh, it is more. I mean, I, so. I meant more it's a shithole because we didn't tidy up. Yeah, so that well, was more you meant. know, so <laughs> condoms on the floor. <laughs> but I do want to show the readers this, this very interesting book. This is our book that we found in Budapest. That I've been carrying around for a while now. This is the TV that we have not once used because we watched stuff on our laptops, but... Um, yeah, also this, I really, <laughs> this is one of my favorite things about this apartment. So oh, yeah. when I first thought this was like an actual wall, but can you hear that? It's like, it's squishy. Squishy wall. It's made of plastic and it, and it's not even like plastic bricks. It's, it's been indented. Like I just, I think it's so... It's, it's fake. It's so tacky, I love it. It's, it's fake marble, F fake plastic marble stuck onto the walls. Yeah. But I, you know, it fooled me for like five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Before you were like, hey Laura, touch the, yeah. the wall. Let's go into my messy room. <laughs> yeah. A cat's ass. So in, there are like five different cats here. They normally, a couple of them hang out. And because it's very, very cold, they just, they come in here and, and sit on the windows because... No. Okay. Okay. Those are your Pira pants. Oh well, yeah, I really recommend Pira pants, by the way. That's my new favorite thing. So this is my messy room. And, um, what can I say? There is no window, but there's a lot of light from up here. Normally from, from your room. Yeah. Um, which I'm grateful for, because otherwise this room would feel like a cell. Um, the bed was kind of uncomfortable. Then, then we, we flipped the mattress and then yeah. it was much better. Yeah. I, I feel like a, a like an untamable desire to make the bed. Yeah. <laughs> and it's made. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is the wardrobe, obviously. Oh, I don't like saying that word, but it is obviously a wardrobe. And I 
I'm kind of torn about it because it does make the room a lot smaller, but on the other hand, it's really nice to be able to just shut myself away. There is a tendency in many apartments that they just they just chuck it chuck them full of furniture that's really yeah, unnecessary. It's really annoying. Uh, like this huge wardrobe, a much smaller one would have. Like we could, I could fit all my stuff in this half. And... That's your shrine. Yeah, this is my like. So I really I like to say to everyone that I like to pack light, which is true. I have two bags, <laughs> but I apparently carry around like five hundred stones. So. <laughs> But I like them. They're very, they're very meditative and beautiful. So, so you know, you, you know, you take what you need. Okay. Uh, bathroom. Then we have the bathroom. Then we have the bathroom. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, he he doesn't like the camera. Assuming it's a he. I think that one is. Okay. I don't know. There are two. No, I'm really that look sorry. Very one of them I'm really balls. sorry. One of them doesn't. Okay. So one of the things I really liked about this apartment when I saw it online was the, the fact that it had a bath. Um, however, <laughs> there is no plug. Oh yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, to, to plug the bath up. Um, we asked the landlord about it and he was like, oh yeah, there's a, there's a water problem. You can't plug the bath because of the water. And I was like, so anyway, we plug it ourselves. It was obviously just a way to See, reduce yeah. our... Oh, water users just save water, as well. but not because I don't think because of environmental reasons. More probably because of because water is included, so we could be having yeah. baths every day. Yeah, using all the water money. Yeah, it's, and also the other thing about it, which we're kind of used to at this point, is it's not it's not exactly like human size. It's like I mean, I'm a five foot three, and I'm I'm struggling. And normally I have a bath like this. Yeah. Um, because it, they they very they were very tricky. So there is a bath, but they didn't leave us a plug. As you can see, there's no plug chained onto that thing there. Uh, so what we do is we plug it with with handkerchiefs. We have yeah. we have a uh, textile hankies. And we were gonna get a plug, and then we just didn't. Anyway. Uh, anyway. There's, there's a washing machine, which is one of the re another reason I like renting on Airbnb because you can do your own washing and yeah. and it saves like time and mm -hmm. and money or whatever because you don't have to like you can just wash things like your period pants like your period pants which I actually washed with my hands yesterday yes. in in hot water why are period pants good I'm really anti pads and tampons because they I read the other day I haven't checked this yet. But let's just say it anyway. I read the other day that tampons actually use a chemical that makes you bleed more. So oh yeah. You buy more of them, but I haven't checked that. But what is definitely true about both tampons and pads is that they're like they're made of plastic. They're bad for the environment. They're not very nice. I've never enjoyed wearing either of those because it's uncomfortable. So for a long time, I was really into wearing a moon cup. But even that, after a while, sometimes you just you just don't want to like. Mm shove stuff up yourself when you're bleeding so my mum got me these period pants for christmas and it's amazing it's like um it's all the good things about wearing a pad without the bad things so there's they don't leak um that you don't have to shove anything up inside you and they're reusable that like you wash them and then you wear them again and they're not you're not like throwing away like two yeah, or three pads a day they don't leak they onion exactly <laughs> The Pungaran has, has struck. Again. I remember where the tampons, the chemical in tampons make you bleed more thing is from. It's from it's the true. It's from the Itty Bitty Titty Committee but movie. But it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, a movie highly recommended to everyone. So it was a meme I saw on Instagram. No, it was, it. Yeah, it was it's from, from the movie. Itty Bitty, Itty Bitty Titty Committee. Yeah. Which is a really good movie. I, I highly recommend it. From the director of What's That Other Movie She Did? Oh, but I'm a cheerleader. Yeah. It's a really good movie. Yeah.
Moving on. We got a we have a drying rack. Drying so rack. Oh, we have a vacuum cleaner as well, by the way. They they provided us with one, so that's that's cool because. And this is a filthy kitchen. Oh yeah, the kitchen, which is I think it's as far as Airbnbs go, this is a pretty good quick kitchen. So uh, initially, I was like. It doesn't have any windows and it, I felt like really trapped in here. Oh yeah, it's it's very much like a... And like for a kitchen to not have windows and also not have a fan in it is really kind of like partly why it gets down. Yeah. But, but then you said it's kind of like living in a cave and I was like, I really like that. Mm -hmm. So now I really like this space because I feel really like safe in it. Um, also, having gone on and on and on and on and on about how damp it is here, I want to say for the record, it's nowhere near as damp as houses in the UK, so... Oh yeah, okay. Winning. Yeah, electric oven... This is really... This is in the middle of being clean, so it's not... We're not normally this... So we're just cleaning it with bicarbon and vinegar. If you pour vinegar and bicarb on it, it fizzes up and cleans really nicely. It's, and it's a lot like, of fun. It's like a science experiment. <laughs> and this is... Where we collect the compost, which is my mo most important. And we have a very tiny fridge, which is kind of annoying, but it's at least we all, all, we don't overbuy. It also has like a, a freezer at the top, but without a door, so it's kind of like an hair. Oh yeah, and the water kettle, the electric kettle, broke down in the second week whilst we were here, so it's not working anymore. We don't, we do not use a microwave oven. I do oh, not trust no. microwave ovens at all. But uh, one, one thing we do like, yeah, this is a traditional Arabic coffee maker. It's really smart because yeah, I'll show you like the. Nowadays, I just use it to boil water. Ever since the water kettle what broke down, but there's the the bottom is like fatter, so the so the when you coffee grinds get like from the from the side, the coffee grinds get. Yeah. Like stuck in the bottom kind of when you're pouring out the water so it's, the coffee doesn't come out. Like, yeah. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like really smart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you sh if you show it from the side and you tilt it. Yeah, and then you yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so everything get, get gets stuck right there at the bottom. It's really smart. And in our last place, um in in Belgrade, in Serbia, we asked the guy, hey, our landlord, hey, can we please have a electric um, kettle because there isn't one in the flat in the flat and he was like are you sure there should be one I checked oh yeah I was like no there isn't one I'm sure I would notice that there was a kettle and like you know like I looked and I specifically said electric kettle and then he like brought round one of these <laughs> we did already have in the apartment to be fair so then we had two of them and I was like I, I do like these in a way I mean they're yeah. not as quick but they are like it's something like camp like camping <laughs> Like a camping. Oh, you can get two little bottles of beer like this. Sarajevsko, which is the lo local. This was too bum. We bought two two liters of beer for one pound. We're trying to stop drinking, but actually, it's not going too bad. It's not going. We haven't so haven't had alcohol for more than. A <laughs> it's been this month of January. We've had alcohol once, which is. An yeah. improvement. Oh, one more thing I wanted to say, like in the UK, this is it would be really weird to have bars on a Oh really? Area. Yeah, because it's like, oh what would you do if there's a fire? You cannot get out. But if I've noticed in Eastern Europe it's a big thing. Yeah. Especially on the ground floor. In in Hungary as well. Yeah. On the ground floor yeah. everyone has, has these things. But so what do you do if there's a fire? Because there's only one exit. <laughs> that's another thing that's like quite common on Airbnbs. It's, around like they don't they don't often have uh drowning clown they don't often have fire alarms or carbon monoxide alarms which is an, another thing that wouldn't be allowed in certain places but but yeah what i mean what do you do if there's a fire well i don't know and you can't get out of the one door we don't rebuild really wood as much as you do in england Fair. so and you're better at building things to not magically combust. To summarize, this is what you can get in Sarajevo for £150 a person. This is what it looks like when it's heavily snowing. Yeah. Really. Siasto! Ciao!